Hi, Sebastian Vollber hier und ich befinde mich im Gillette Stadium mit keinem geringeren als Brian Hoyer, mein alter Teamkollege, Quarterback und Freund. First Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Oh, wow. Do you know German? Sprichst du yeah, Deutsch? Ja, ein bisschen. Ich verstehe als ich, uh, besser, als ich spreche. Oh. Ja. Yeah. Okay. Besser als meine Frau. <lacht> <lacht> All right. Just langsamer bitte. Langsamer. Langsamer. langsamer, langsamer. <lacht> okay. Um, so, obviously, your dad, yep. who I've met, uh, is from Germany. Ja. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about him, like where he's from, and kind of are you, you know, do you have any connection to Germany itself? All right, I'll try in German first. Okay. So, wow. mein Vater kommt aus Deutschland, aus uh, Bad Hersfeld. Yeah. And um, now I'm going to switch to English because I don't know how to say this. <laughs> he moved to the United States when he was about three, four years old. All right. And uh, my Oma and Opa came and they yeah. lived here and, <clears throat> you know, they, they lived until he was about seventh grade and my Oma and Opa missed their Vaterland. Yeah. And they moved back and um, so. Then he lived in Heidelberg and went to high school in Heidelberg and then eventually moved back to the States. My Oma and Opa missed him so much, they moved back to the States. So, um, yeah, a huge connection, obviously not through just him, but my, my Oma and Opa. And I'll, I'll never forget, you know, coming in to, uh, together as a rookie. My dad goes, there's a German guy on your team, Sebastian Vollmer and from University of Houston. So he was so... I mean, obviously he was excited I was playing, but for me to be playing with yeah. a, a German-born, you know, guy who was drafted high for the Patriots, he was he was super excited. I met your dad a couple of times. Like, yeah. That's not a small man. Big dude. Well, I mean, yeah. it looks like he could play yeah. himself. So obviously with your dad being German and bringing a lot of German culture and ways, I mm -hmm. assume, into your family, Do you have did that influence you in any way? Did you, like, pick up certain, I don't know, traditions or ways yeah. of life? You know, German school. I had to go to German school okay. from kindergarten till sixth grade, Wednesday nights. I have... Somewhere there's footage of me doing Christmas plays with a chef hat, speaking German. So maybe we'll try to pull that out like, of the archives. Please. And, um, you know, the thing that was great was um, both my parents worked. So on my weekends, they'd send us out to my home and Opa had a horse farm, 40 okay. acres. So that's where we would go on the weekends and, you know, get all the German food, schnitzel and bratwurst oh, and uh, rotkuhl, which is one of my favorites. And so that became, oh. you know, holiday tradition you know thanksgiving christmas yeah. it was like what's oma bringing to, to the to the to the meal so it's it, it was a big part of my life and and they would have you know these big massive parties and you realize like you know it's not just your family but it's the community yeah. and so they'd have a lot of you know german immigrants that would come and we'd celebrate oktoberfest and you know we used to go a lot when i was younger because my dad still had a lot of family there yeah. and as we got older it was harder and then You know, the family started to pass away, but, um, you know, a huge part of our lives. We've always, you know, cheered for the the, the, um, the German soccer team. And my brothers, you know, they, they're bigger soccer fans than me, but, you know, they love it. They're always texting me updates on it. Do you have a favorite team, soccer team? Um, I mean, Bayern Munich, obviously. I mean, uh, look, I'll be honest, soccer is not my favorite sport. <laughs> but when it becomes the World Cup or yeah. it becomes the, the Euro Cup or the Champions League, and, you know, I'm always rooting yeah. for the German teams. Very nice. Yeah. So you mentioned the get togethers and, and, you know, German traditions. So obviously, I'll tell you after how we do it. So you have kids, obviously, you're married, you have kids. Yep. What is your uh, Christmas tradition? Do you do uh, Christmas Eve, like how yeah. a lot of Germans are doing it, or do you, do you do the 25th as most Americans are doing it? So when I was growing up, we would, so alternating years, some with my dad's parents, some of my mom's parents. And when it was Oma and Opa's year, it was always Got Christmas it. Eve, midnight yeah. mass, you oh. know, very traditional. Yeah. So, um, you know, now that, you know, I'm growing up when, and I'm, or I've grown up and I'm trying to yeah. raise my children to understand their heritage yeah. and, And we do a lot of things on Christmas Eve, but then also, you know, with the American tradition of, of Christmas morning. Unlike last year, I was playing on Christmas oh, Day yeah. out in Vegas. So that was, was Sa that? Santa came a day early last year. I got so, it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. That got to be tough. I mean, that, that's how, uh, a deep dive into football. But like, how is that playing on Christmas, Christmas Day? Yeah, that was my, in 15 years, yeah. first time it ever happened. So, um, you know, it's different. And, and, you know, it was a Monday. So I get it. Like, you know, let's let's plan a Monday. But I think this year they're playing on like a Tuesday And, you know, you realize how oh, much wow. it is as a business and not so much of you're thinking about the players. So, but yeah, even, even last year I was telling the kids about Krampus. Oh, wow. Yeah. A deep dive. A deep dive. Yeah. How, how did they like that? Are they scared now? A little scared. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. It's a weird tradition. I mean, yeah. it's just German, man. Um, 
So obviously the Patriots own or part of the teams that have international market rights yep. in the Dach region and, and somewhere else, obviously in, in Germany mainly. And um, so would you be interested in, you know, being like being like an ambassador or being more involved and yep. obviously, uh, you know, using your American German connection there? Yeah, of course. And, and, you know, this year was kind of up in the air. Am I, was I going to keep playing? And, and yep. I still haven't retired. So if the right team calls, you just never yep. know. So, but I think it's, you know, when I officially am done and have more time, you know, last year we were able to take our kids over for the first time, took them to, Flew into Frankfurt, saw some family, had a good Beautiful. German dinner, went down to Heidelberg, saw the Beautiful. castle. I got a picture of my dad's house, sent it to him. He was happy. Oh, wow. Yeah, spent a few days in, in Munich, and, and they loved it. I mean, it was so cool for them, and, and um, you know, they loved it. So um, to get over there more, and then also now that the NFL has become so big. I remember as a kid, you know, my dad's cousins would come over. And even back then, you know, loved American football. You know, they'd have the Favre jersey on, a Broncos yeah, hat, yeah. a Chiefs jacket. It yeah. didn't matter about the team. It yeah. was more about the players and things like that. So, um, you know, to see how it's really grown and taken off. Um, I remember talking to Tom after his first game yeah. in Munich, and he said, wow, that was one of the most electric atmospheres. And you and I played in London played our rookie in year. Oh, nine and and they didn't really understand, oh, like, yeah. football. And you watch the game in Germany, and, and the German fans, you know, they understand football. They know when to cheer, when not to yep. cheer. And, um, you know, singing Country Roads. And, yep. and uh, it was, you know, that's my one regret as a player. I never got to play there because I played in London. I played in Mexico. I wish I would have been able to play in Germany. Well, maybe you can... Well, hopefully you keep playing whatever yeah. your decision is. But if you don't, you know, I mean, we're playing in London again, so yeah. we can do that. And I'm sure we'll be back in uh, in Germany soon. Um, uh, do you have a German passport? Yeah, I do. So I went through the process um, a few years ago. Obviously, my dad's still a German citizen. Actually, I think I, I did see that they the Germans just changed the law. So yes. he, I, I, I said, congratulations, maybe you can finally vote in America because now he could actually go get his U.S. passport and be a dual citizen like oh, me. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so, um, you know, he that's always, right. you know, kept his German citizenship because at that time you couldn't you couldn't get rid of it. So, right. um, you know, through him, I was able to do it. And then along with that, pass it on to my to my kids. And so Very now nice. my wife, Lauren, you know, she's always like, well, what if what if I need it? I'm like, well, we got to move there, I think, three years yes. minimum. So. Um, obviously, you yeah. you know, but um, it was something I was very proud to do because, like we talked about growing up, it was a big part of my heritage, and you know, I didn't really know that was an option for me. I knew that you know, obviously, my dad was a German citizen, but as I got older, I realized, oh, you know, because he's a citizen, so right. am I, and so I wanted to go through the process, and it was a big part of my life, and so I remember I took a picture outside of the the consulate, you know, with the nice. the German crest, and just sent it to him and he was he was very proud too so um one of my brothers has followed you know my footsteps and done it and then uh, the other one's you know working on it too so very nice yeah uh, and lastly about this so did you pay attention to like you know the fan march in frankfurt for example just yeah. kind of like how big and how invested the german fans and especially the fan clubs are like and yeah. how does that feel obviously when you're still on the roster and, and you feel that other countries are actually supporting you as a player and also obviously the franchise overseas yeah it was great i mean obviously i talked about we played together but i also played with jakob yeah. and so that was kind of in the time when you know german you know the games were being played in germany and yeah. to see the passion and and um talk about visiting family you know, I go visit them and they said, look, there's three million wait to get tickets yeah, for the game. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we know you're not on the Patriots anymore, <laughs> but is and I, so through through Chris Mattis, I said, Chris, I got some German family. If, if I'm, I'm assuming not everybody's going to use their tickets. So if I can get a few tickets and buy them from you, just please let me know. And he did. And, you know, I'm getting ready for my game out in Vegas and I'm getting WhatsApp messages and they're just sending me pictures of the game and what's going on and and how much they loved it. So, awesome. Yeah, that, that's really, really good to hear.